Hi everyone, I'm, I just purchased a, uh, a brass tremolo block from Killer Guitar Heart Components and uh, I have to say it's beautiful. It's a beautiful, uh, as you can see it's machine, fantastic. I've worked as a draftsman with engineering departments and machine shops for a lot of years and this is a nice piece of work. Comes with a serial number on it, and uh, and uh, absolutely looks great. It's too bad it's buried in the guitar. <laughs> um, I'm pretty confident this is going to make a huge difference in the way this strat sounds. It's a uh, it's a Mexican strat. Um, it's not a steel block in here. It's a some kind of zinc block that this one's going to be replacing. So, um, first thing we do is is take these take the springs off, um, uh, and also also this comes with uh, comes with instruction an instruction sheet that looks like it's pretty pretty straightforward to install this, and uh, it comes also with uh, some mounting screws. And uh, just looking at it, it seems like it's a pretty good price for what this is. Just solid. It's a solid piece of brass. So I'm going to take the. Uh, I'm going to start by taking the screws off here. Howdy, folks. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate um, the uh, the new block from uh, Killer Guitar Components. Uh, have it all installed here and uh, it installed very, very easily. Uh, no problems. Didn't really have to read the directions, but it's a good idea to read the directions anyway. And Because uh, I don't work on guitars every day. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a player, not a, not a setup guy. But in, in recent years I've gotten more into it, but uh, I think I'll leave the back plate off here on this guitar for now on because I want to show this off. <laughs> it's beautiful. So anyway, um, got it all set up again. Uh, I wanted to, to demonstrate the tone because it was totally... At, at first when I put it in, um, everything was getting seated and I put new strings on. They were getting stretched out and and um, and I did a little play and I thought, yes, yeah, it, like it, it seems like it sounds a lot better. And... Um, and uh, so then uh, last night, I, uh, when I finally had some time, I, I sat down and, and played some of my chord stuff, chord melody stuff with it, and 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 some picking, and I I made some very uh, uh, startling observations in a good way. I'm very very pleased with with uh, with the way this came out. But anyway, enough talking. Um, uh, one of the things I noticed about the uh, the, the trem block that was put in that I put in here is that uh, it um, the t the tone Oops. there's a nice clear consistent tone um, and level across the whole fretboard across all the strings and um, um, you know, if you're doing these, you know, I have an expensive mic in this camera, so it's, I'm hoping it picks up the audio like it's coming through. I'm just running directly in from the guitar into the amp, so. Um, there's a lot bigger tone now than there was before. That's one of the huge differences and it's uniform across the, 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 uh, all the strings from the low to the high. There's a nice uniform gain in which when you're, when you're playing like jazz, if you do, um, you're playing the, when you're playing jazz chords, 
records and this kind of thing, it, it's really cool when you can hear, you know, those ninth and eleventh notes, um, stuff like that, you know. Thank <laughs> you. 